I'm Lucas McFadden, and you're watching CN2 News. Good evening, I'm Diane Gallagher. We are covering news across the Tri-County, and we begin our newscast in Rock Hill with dipping into emergency funds. More than $17 million sit in the Rock Hill Schools Reserve account. Now, the idea is to save it for a rainy day. Well, get off the umbrellas because it's raining. Now, CN2 spoke with the Rock Hill School District Superintendent, and she says tapping into the fund is essentially inevitable. The difficult decision is basically how much and for what to help teacher salaries or to avoid furloughs or, as some are advocating, to save programs for children that are still too young to even be called students. Every Friday, as part of the Parent Smart program, children can see a doctor for free at the Family Resource Center. In the next room, their parents can learn how to provide them better care or even sign up for a literacy class. But organizers are afraid budget cuts may limit future early childhood involvement in Rock Hill. People in this community who need help will go without. Children who need help will go without. Currently, Parent Smart receives about $310,000 from the Rock Hill School District. Superintendent Lynn Moody's financial crisis plan proposes shaving $100,000 off that number. If you cut that funding by anywhere from 20% to 30%, depending on what the ultimate impact is, then that translates into a direct decrease in the number of families you're able to serve. Monday night, Stephen Cox will ask the Rock Hill School Board to dip into the $17 million reserve fund in an effort to avoid cutting funding for birth through six-year family education. Not to cut something else, but to consider withdrawing enough money from the reserve fund, less than 1% of the reserve fund, to keep these programs going through the rainy period. Parent Smart programs run off public and private money, so the program itself isn't actually in danger of disappearing. What you're looking at losing more than the facilities or the services, which frankly are more important. The York County Parent Smart programs are considered a model for the state. Parent Smart activists say that they know that times are tough, but believe these services are invaluable and will cost the community more in the long run. Now CN2's Leslie Draffin is sitting in on that school board meeting right now, listening to the superintendent's and board suggestions on how and if reserve funds will actually be used. CN2 will bring you more from that meeting Tuesday.